expert in meteorologist April Loveland who is talking about maybe what could we do with that lottery money yesterday and hey we got it we still got a chance yeah, we still, have a good, we still have a chance, so that's good news. I'm glad because I forgot to buy my ticket. <laughs> well, as we take a live look here over downtown Norfolk, what a gorgeous sunrise. It is nice to see that sunrise a little earlier in the day, especially for our show. If you're tuning in here, we can actually see some sky out there, so that's always good news. Now, we are tracking a few more spring days out there. We're going to be climbing to near 80 today and Monday. Your election day forecast is going to be dry, but it's going to be windy and it's also going to be on the cool side as you head to the polls. But at least, you know, you can just kind of layer up. We don't have to worry about bringing that umbrella. Our next storm system, well, we are tracking something that could bring us some rain on Friday into Saturday. So we'll look at that in just a second. Our temperature trend here, normal high is 65 degrees. We'll be up into the upper 70s today, and I do think a lot of us could actually hit that 80 degree mark once again. Mid to upper 70s on Monday to kick off the work week, down to near 60 on Tuesday. So there's that huge temperature drop as we head into uh, Election Day. We'll see the low 60s on Wednesday and then we'll start that warm up again as we head into Thursday with that high of 70. First warning radar, we have high pressure down to our south trying to keep us dry. We have a cold front out to our west that's going to be moving in. Now it's going to be dry by the time it reaches us. We could see maybe a spotty shower later today and tomorrow, keeping it right around a 20% chance. A lot of the rain, though, staying to the north of us because we have that high pressure kind of bringing in that drier air. But let's head out to the tropics because this is something that could be bringing us some rain later in the week. Now we have one system out toward the Atlantic there, about a 70% chance of turning into something tropical. Really not going to be an issue for us, but we have this one here down near Haiti in the Dominican Republic has about an 80% chance of turning into something tropical. Now, whether it's a tropical um, storm or an extra tropical storm. It does have that chance to bring us some wet weather as we head into the end of the week and we can see that here on our precip chances something we're going to of course be keeping a close eye on here over the next couple of days. 20% chance for that rain on Monday. Nothing for Tuesday. 10% chance on Wednesday. 20 for Thursday and then up to a 50 50 shot on Friday and that's going to be thanks to that system that's developing there in the tropics. Let's look at our future cast here. Not a whole lot going on today. We will see clouds increasing, maybe a slight chance for a spotty shower, especially along the outer banks and to our north. As we head into Monday, we'll start the day off with a little bit of patchy fog. We'll continue to see a mixture of sun and clouds throughout the day, and then a spotty shower will be possible once again. Again, just keeping it to that slight 20% chance. So building clouds today, but look at those temperatures. 79 degrees, 77 with a spotty shower on Monday, a windy and cool election day highs only around 60, 63 on Wednesday. And then there's that system that's going to be moving in for Friday and Saturday, giving us about a 50 50 shot for some showers. And if you do have Veterans Day off on Friday, looking a little on the wet side, unfortunately. All right, cool.